Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Black Ops 3 gameplay video. This is some multiplayer for Black Ops 3, and uh, Activision gave me the delightful pleasure of uh, allowing me to record some gameplay. But funny story, Activision will rugby tackle you if you start recording without permission. It's not what it sounds, but it is a fairly good story. So before I begin, and tell you the weird story where I almost got like rapid tackled to the ground and like proper scary at Gamescom 2015. Uh, I do want to say I've already uploaded a Black Ops First Impressions video, Black Ops 3, sorry. And if you want to catch it and you haven't already seen it, there's a link in the description and also it's on my channel page. So if you're interested in more content and stuff, you can either subscribe or uh, do that kind of thing. It's kind of up to you, but yeah. Anyway, let's get on to this juicy story. So, before we begin, I have to premise this and give you a bit of a backstory. Now, at Gamescom 2015, which is where I'm at and where I captured my gameplay for the videos I'm showing you, um, there's two Activision booths. There's the public one, which is for the general public. Anyone can come and play Black Ops early. Uh, anyone can have access to it, but you're super not allowed to record. You're certainly not allowed to take pictures or anything like that. And then there's the business area, which is obviously for press and for business, and you are, they have like a recording booth for YouTubers like me to go in, record and stuff. And um, yeah, so just keep that in mind. And the first night we were here, we had a recording session. It was actually set up at the public booth as a sort of a launch event because it's much bigger and it looks a lot cooler. And you know, we could all get pictures and it was just really cool and it was just fun and they had like music playing and all that kind of stuff whereas the business area is more like just more of a well it's just not as interesting i suppose um anyway i didn't really know that so today when i got the email from activision saying hey you've got an hour slot to do your recording uh make sure you bring your equipment yada 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 i rocked up to the public area and <laughs> uh basically i walked up to the gate and i said Hey guys, got an hour slot, here's the email, just to, you know, I'm here to have a gaming session is what I said. And they said, oh, yeah, sure, I mean, if you've got an email, come on in, you know, sit down and have a gaming session. That's totally fine with us, we can fit you in. Anyway, so I sat down, like, put my headphones on, got out my laptop, got out my recording stuff. And um, everyone around me who's public, general public, started looking at me like, Oh my god, that guy is breaking the rules. Do they are they gonna do anything? Like he's recording videos. Oh snap! <laughs> he's going down. And I was just sat there like, what what is everyone's problem? Everyone is staring at me. Why can't they just let me get on and make videos? Like, oh, what is why is the world against me, you know? Anyway, so I kind of let it go over my head and I kind of like whatever, shrugged it off. And then the Activision people got involved and were like, dude, wait, like why have you got your laptop? What is all this recording equipment? What are you doing? And they like flipped out and they like grabbed my laptop and took it over to the thing. I was like, what is everyone's problem? I got permission. I got my email. Like, <laughs> like I got all high in my, I was like, look, you let me in. Like, I thought I told you I was recording. You said it was okay. But now you seem to have like some random problem with it. Like what's going on? And then they were like, oh. They got real annoyed and then they realized the mistake I'd made, which was I was supposed to go to the business center and record there. So it was just like a really like, you know, those sinking moments. You're like, oh, God, did I just. Oh, oh the embarrassment. That's that. That's real. Hashtag real embarrassment right there. So I, <laughs> I was just like, oh, and they just quickly walked out. <laughs> it was just so funny. I was just like so annoyed with people around me, like looking at me as if I'd done something completely terribly wrong. I didn't really think anything of it the first like few minutes. And then it makes perfect sense when the public's been told before they come in, don't take pictures, don't record. If you upload this gameplay, you will, you will go to prison, yada, yada, yada. And then I stroll in, you know, kick up my laptop like no one's business. Like, hey, where's my Elgato? Plug it in. Yeah, gonna get me some gameplay, boys. And then <laughs> everyone's like, oh my god, this is really happening. So yeah, I thought that was a good story. Um, I thought it was worth sharing. But yeah, <laughs> let's talk about Black Ops 3, eh? So Black Ops 3 is actually really fun. And I'm gonna be talking about it a little bit more today. Um, the gameplay you're seeing in the background, I should have really disclaimed at the start of the video. Um, but basically, I'm playing against, when I did eventually go to the business area, I was at playing with MLG players, YouTubers, I was playing with people that really know their stuff, so there's by no means any pub stomping in this video. Um, this game actually is really, really good to watch. 
more so the second half. And the reason why is because the scoreline gets ridiculously close. And this game is so close that it's not even, like, it's not even possible. So I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay in the background. Some really tense stuff. Keep your eye on the scoreline. It gets really close towards the end. And, um, yeah, it's just a good video. Like... The gameplay is not brilliant, the KDA is not amazing, but this is an objective-based game mode, and that's what it's all about. So, anyway, yeah, that's the gameplay, that's the disclaimer. Um, if you haven't already, guys, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any more content in the future, and also hit the like button. It's always really cool when you guys show your support, and normally you would do quite well with likes, so you guys are really awesome when you support the channel and all that dandy stuff. So, Black Ops 3! I've played more of it now, uh, have my opinions changed, do they, am I now less, um, you know, interested in the game, am I, do I think it's, there's holes and flaws in it, um, no, not really, I feel like I've identified the style of which Call of Duty this is, um, for example, some Call of Duties are more proficient with SMGs, some are more proficient with assault rifles, um, LMGs can be really powerful in some of them, uh, this one, the God Guns, and this is a little tip for those of you that are going to get your hands on it early. This is subject to change as well. This is not an official release, so they could nerf the guns before they come out. Uh, but at this stage, at Gamescom 2015, the good weapons are the semi-automatic advanced assault rifles. Uh, they're so powerful. It's the three bullet kill and they're three round burst. So you can get a kill in one hit anywhere on the body. It's super, super powerful, and if you're fairly accurate with the weapon, it's really, really good. So, that's just a pro tip. Um, I really enjoy using semi-automatic weapons. I also really enjoy, um, like, the three-round burst and the single fire. Both of those I really, really enjoy um, because it just suits my playstyle. Like, I'm a little bit reserved in my playstyle. Um, <laughs> it's either that or I grab a shotgun and just go gun-ho and just go Leroy Jenkins. Like, that's... The, my two styles, that's my two wheelhouses, like that's what I do. So, yeah, this game, the playstyle is all, because it, the, the maps are so competitively designed in the fact that they're designed with esports in mind, you end up with, and you'll see it quite a lot on this gameplay, is two sides of the map, and then the two players providing their, I don't, it might be different, it might have been just because I was playing with like really good players and everyone's just a little bit more intelligent i don't know what players are like when it's just a normal public environment but at this stage you get a lot of what you're seeing here which is two sort of groups of players from either team are on either side of the map and they're doing this they're just trying to out head glitch each other through long sort of like uh through long engagements um, rarely, unless you run through the map and get caught off guard, which doesn't actually happen all that often, um, you'll, most of your engagements is, are going to be medium to long range, which is why I think the semi-automatic long range weapons are going to be so like prolific in this game, and SMGs less so, because unless you're really clever and you can outsmart your opponents and do the old flanking maneuver, which is definitely possible in this game because there's always like three routes to each side of the map, um, you know, it is possible to get the cheeky run around, but having said that, it's most of the time you're going to be doing what I'm doing here and just waiting for the team to pop their heads around the corner and get a few cheeky kills. And I kind of like that. That's the kind of game that I enjoy. Um, it's the kind of gameplay that I'm good at. And for the most part, I think it works well. It definitely works well in competitive play. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. I'll let you watch the rest of this gameplay. The scoreline is so close. Just look at the scoreline. It's just, oh, it's so tense. But anyway, um, you guys have been amazing sitting through all the way through this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit thumbs up and subscribe for more. And uh, I will see you delightful people another time for some more procrastination on Video Nation. That's what they should call YouTube. Procrastination. Video Nation. Anyway, my name's Ollie43, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.